Hey, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I have my coffee. I have to grab. Oh. Wait for a few people to jump on and then we'll talk. Wait for a few people to jump on. How was the reception? I'm in front of the home of Thomas Kalzowski. He was just arrested yesterday for being held by by authorities for first degree murder missing uh Stephen Kazi. There's a big case out of Pinellas County, Florida, but I actually went to Thomas's home and he lived right here. He's a doctor. Let me know what the reception is like um and then we'll proceed. If the reception's good, we'll keep going. But where is Stephen Kazi? Let me know what the reception is like. And then we'll start. Good morning, everyone. Drinking coffee, Wawa coffee. Wawa coffee. That is the home of Thomas Kalzowski. Um, I'm gonna take you to there. A little blurry, a little blurry. So, this is the home of Thomas Kalzowski and he was arrested yesterday by authorities in Tarpon Springs, Florida, for the murder of Stephen Kazi, who is still missing. There's a missing man. And I'm gonna go knock on his door, see if he's here. I'm gonna show you something crazy. I was looking here earlier. They must have broke down his door, cause look, look at this. They they busted down something or broke in to his door, and there's some evidence tape still up. And then there's a package on his porch. Let me knock and see. Now he lives uh, according to tax records he lives here by himself. According to tax records he lives here by himself, but it looks like they used a screwdriver or shimmy to bust in his home. He arrested he got arrested. Well, he I, he didn't get he got arrested in his car. But I don't know. You know, I don't know if they found any evidence here. I don't know if they found any evidence here. And then there's a package here too. Now he has court hearing today. He has a court hearing today. This is a doctor. This is a doctor that's been uh, doing plastic surgery. But it's all quiet here. Mm-hmm. The doctor. This is where he lives. Yeah, the package was for pure gold. Big house. I think it's listed at 1.5 million. 1.5 million dollar house. It is it is it's on the water. The water's here, but but the thing about it is the lawyer is still missing. Stephen Kazi is still missing. And when I was looking into this case, I was like, okay, the guy lives right on the water. There's a deck back there. 
there's a deck back there or a dock and it goes right to the Gulf but like like here like all this I mean he could have dumped them somewhere in here right over there is Fred Howard Park but right next to his house is right next to his house is just land and trees I'm just wondering where this lawyer could be let's take a walk let's take a walk see that's his house up there right next door it's like swampy swampy trees maybe put him in his trunk that's what I'm thinking or not to be graphic but maybe he chopped him up because he does liposurgery there's videos I got videos of this guy Thomas literally cutting people up and giving them lipo like cutting into their stomachs and and he's part of that like there's stuff called Brazilian butts like he puts butts on people like an additional butts and plastic surgeries go go over here it's very swampy in this area but where oh shoot but where is he swampy Yes, it smells. And here's the back of his house. his house it's just I mean he definitely could be that's his house I mean the guy's missing definitely could be back here or evidence there's the water there is the gulf It's just all swampy land. Can't see. Let me go back up towards the front. Swampland. Swampland. It's all swamps back here. But they're very well. Stephen could be very well in here somewhere. If that's his house and they can't find him. Best place to hide would be on his property. I'm going to work my way back to the road. How's it now? Better? <sighs> I 
Where's Steven? So a little bit of back history is, so Thomas Kalzowski worked as a, we'll just call him a plastic surgeon, known as a doctor. And he had a business here, uh, a company that he actually sued. And the lawyer who went missing, Stephen Kazi, was representing the victims of that business or that business and there's been a bunch of motions filed in the case and then Stephen goes missing and according to reports Thomas Kozowski went down to his law office like saw like video they had video surveillance but they had no surveillance of Stephen Kazi leaving his law office down on Belcher in Largo Florida and he's been missing he's been missing for like a week now but they just arrested the owner of this house yesterday. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually make a full video version, and then um, I'll repost it. I'm actually gonna see. I actually somebody sent me a tip on my website saying that authorities, some a neighbor that lived near here, sent me a tip and said that a neighbor or authorities came to him about surveillance, his surveillance on his house. So they're trying to zero in on Kalzowski here to find out like where he uh was that day in his whereabouts and his movement and tracking his movements we're starting to get muggy and humid out here this is on the corner yeah google this case thomas kalzowski stephen kazi yeah, there's water right in back of his house. There's the Gulf of Mexico. Right in back of his house. Right in back of his house. But no signs of him. No signs of Stephen. Is the reception better here? And you can see it's just to the right is woods. He's charged with first degree murder. He appeared in court. He has appeared appearance in court this morning. Windows open. Patrick Courtney, Dana Freelander, former state prosecutors. So I'm here. Nobody's here, though. I try and knock on the door to ask anyone questions. If they have any comment about the case. And no one has commented. No one's here. No one's here. According to tax records, he's the only one that owns the house. I don't think anyone else owns this house here. But did he murder him in the house? 
did he murder him in the house? Did he murder him in the house? So I'm going to actually go to the law firm and see what I can find or talk to somebody or talk to any neighbors if any neighbors come out. I'm curious about this area here right next to his house. I really am. I'm curious. The swampy land, the ocean. I'm curious. I'm curious. Because right there is just all swamp. neighbor waved to me. Neighbor right there just waved to me, so she didn't have no problem with me being out here. Lexi, taxi. I didn't see a boat back there. There's a dock back there. I went back there, but I didn't see a boat. I did not see a boat. And then, you know, right from his house, that's his house. Then you got all this vast amount of land and a park. There's a park. But this guy, this guy is riddled with, well, his, his, his business, his business in Miami, they had a like kind of lipo section business, uh, lipo section doctor's office down in Miami. And there was a big scandal out of there where numerous women that wanted to get procedures on them. They paid, they paid thousands of dollars and they didn't get the services and, and the business kept their money. And some news reports, you know, broadcasted that. And eventually I think that the, the company started giving these people money back after they stole all their money. And then this guy had something to do with the business up here where he sued them and that's where this lawyer who's missing comes into play thank you over 42 but this is like right next to a park like there's a, just a giant park so he lives right over here there's a giant park over here to the right exactly next to his house and behind his house he was in litigation with several women who were represented by Kazi ruckus rocks thank you podcast which, which, you know, that to me seems like that's the kind of motive, like why he would target this guy. Uh, because it's not like this, this, this lawyer knew him. I think maybe he was just mad that he was filing paperwork, you know, representing. And right before Stephen Kazi went missing, if you look on the court dockets, there's a bunch of motions filed by Thomas Kalzowski. So maybe he was just fed up and he took it out on the lawyer. There's spider webs out here. Maybe he took it out on the lawyer because he was fed up. But this is pretty close to where I live, so I was just like, I mean, it's a, it's that's a, you can't beat this type of home because you're at basically the end of the cul-de-sac. There's nothing, you can't go any farther right there. He's at the end home. He's right next to a park, and he has a deck and a dock in the back of his house. It's on the corner of Sunset Drive. So it probably happened around the time he was last seen or reported missing, March 21st. March 21st, that's when the reports are saying March 21st. I got coffee with me.
But I'm, I'm waiting to see. I thought there was going to be some action maybe this morning. I thought maybe authorities are going to come with like maybe a search warrant. They maybe already did to look for this missing lawyer. I got Wawa coffee. I, I don't I don't think they searched it. I think they had just enough to get him. I believe they got him on a pullover. I think they I think they arrested him early morning Sunday morning, like four or five a.m. They pulled him over and arrested him. They arrested him when they were he was driving. And like I like I just showed you going up to his front door, it looks like they jimmied his door open, or somebody did. Somebody jimmied his door open over here, but there's no body has been found now. Will he confess? Did he confess to authorities when he got arrested and give them information about Stephen's whereabouts? Like where he is? Did he did he did he do something like that? But my personal thoughts are that he brought Stephen back here and probably put him and I don't want to be graphic and this is just my own speculation. My speculation thinks that Thomas put Kazi probably in his trunk or something in his vehicle. And then took them here and dumped them back there in the Gulf of Mexico. The Gulf of Mexico is right here. The Gulf of Mexico. And you can see it in the distance. It's right in back of his house. He has a deck in back of his house. Or gator food. Somebody said gator food. I mean, that's, that's, the, you can't, you, you come home, you go into your garage and then nobody can see you. You know, you can do whatever back there and nobody see you. No witnesses back there. I mean, the neighbors are spread out. There's a neighbor's home there. The neighbors are spread out. It's a cul-de-sac back here, but it's, it's like a, almost like a private drive back here. So it's not like cars and people and witnesses are going to be back here. I do, I do think he, I, I, I do think he maybe needled him because, you know, the surgery, the anesthesia or something, you know, he has access to all that, you know, because he's used to putting people to sleep with, you know, medications and whatnot for surgical procedures. So we probably injected him with something and made him, you know, dizzy or passed out and then did his work. I mean, I really think so. I think, I think part of his surgery stuff is a part of this. I really, really think that. I'm telling you, I got some videos of this guy, and I uploaded them, and I saved them before they got deleted, but I was scouring around the net. You can see some videos of him, and he's talking about surgical procedures, and he's actually cutting people open um, for uh, lipo and sucking you know, the, the, these, the skin out of them and the fat out of them, and then he's also replacing people's butts. Like He's, he's part of that Brazilian butt um, philosophy, you know, getting people extra butt in their back and using skin from certain parts of your body and then putting it on your butt he's part of that like he does that so I don't know if it was if the reception was better I would be walking now the gates open he can't he you know it's not against the law in Florida to walk on someone's property you have to be told not to at first I'm not gonna go behind the gate there but I did knock on his door but the, yeah Stephen could be in this house he could be in the house Stephen could definitely be in the house thank you Shiloh Waltz Stephen could definitely be in this house ruckus podcast come on down you and I are actually neighbors, Jonathan. Hey, Ruckus Rocks, come on. Come on down. We'll talk about the case, and uh, let me get your insight. Come on here. I'll be here for a little bit. Get, come on down. The address, is, the address here is 511 Seawell, or Seawall. 511 Seawall. When I first got here, there was a media. Um, it was uh, 10 Bay News. Uh, no, no, no. It was Bay News 9. Bay News 9 uh, van was here and it was pulling out as I was pulling in. So there has been media here. There was a media, there's someone yesterday in the evening time that tweeted about knocking on the door and no one being here. 
because I was going to come yesterday. I, you know, I got wind of this case and I got wind of this case from my website, which I accept tips and information and people send me a lot of information and a neighbor around here <clears throat> sent me info about this case, but the neighbor was telling me the cops came to their home the other day. Authorities, I'm, I'm assuming Pinellas County Sheriff came to the home the other day, his home and got his surveillance, I guess his ring camera surveillance or surveillance off his home because they wanted to review it. I guess they want to retrace the steps of Kalzowski. So I appreciated the tip, but you know, you can, if you guys have any information you want me to go look at, whatever, you go to my website, um, jlrinvestigates.com, jlrinvestigates.com. So I said, well, it was a little bit, it was a little bit, um, you know, at that time it was dark. I didn't want to come here when it got dark. So I was like, I'll just come here first light and check out. And I actually still think authorities are coming back here. I do think authorities are going to come back to this home and, and come back to this area as maybe they question him or talk to him, interrogate him more, get him more information and look for Kalzowski because he's somewhere or look for Stephen um, Kazi. His name is Kozowski. The victim's name is Kazi. Sometimes it's going to get them a little confused because, you know, the K or the C. Kazi's the victim. Kozowski's the one that did it. Kozowski's the one that lives here. Lives here. Can you see in his garage? Um, no, it's pretty high. The windows, you see the windows are high. But again, there's like a package here. got some nice palms it feels good under the palm trees here but nothing out of here just just uh you know just the birds chirping it's a beautiful home it's it's worth over a million dollars this is a million dollar home because it's like you know waterfront Now, will this case get a lot of national press? I don't know. I just started seeing some buzz yesterday about it. You're talking about two people in prominent positions of power. I mean, you got one or prominent positions of career wise. You got one that is a surgeon, a plastic surgeon that lives in a million dollar home on the water. And then you have a lawyer. You have a lawyer um, that was representing the firm which this guy was, um, you know, representing the firm of, uh, or representing the business with this guy was suing. It's a medical clinic in Tarpon Springs area. If I turn my phone long ways, tell me if this is better than, I got a suggestion, let me see. Yeah, that body is gone, gone. Yeah, this is the best I'm going to do. I'm working on getting a new, uh, better camera. But I think the reception, due to the fact that this is by the coastline, I think the the reception comes out bad here because you know we're like right on the west. This the Gulf of Mexico is right there. He lives literally on the water. Beautiful sunsets. Howard Park, Fred Howard Park is right there. It's right next to his property. This is his property. And then this is Fred Howard Park. The park. So if you look on Google Maps, you'll see he lives right next to a park. But look at all this swampy land. And back there, there was all kinds of... Back there, there was all kinds of... Um, little trailways and whatnot. It gets even better when you're near the house. Probably because it's... The internet...
Yeah, so he, now the question is, unless he confesses he actually did something, will you be able to convict without a body? Would you be able to convict without a body? Because if they don't find Stephen's body, how do you think you could get a conviction? Well, you can smell an odor anyway out here. The, the, the swampy, like I even stepped in it. The swampy, mushy marsh out there, like all in that area. And watch for gators, watch for crocs. Yes, your good point depends on what they found in the house. Like what kind of evidence have they found in the house? Blood, DNA, victim's clothing, tools, cell phone records, digital evidence, forensic evidence. I'm sure they're probably going through his Google searches. You know what happens lately with these people that get arrested with bodies, dealing with bodies, they start Googling, you know, how to get rid of a body, where should I dispose of a how, you know, a, 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 a corpse, things like that. Kind of like what Brian Walsh did up there in Massachusetts, Cohasset, Massachusetts, with Anna, who is still missing, by the way, Anna Walsh. And Brian Walsh, he got charged in Massachusetts without the body. He got charged without the body. And they still haven't found and a wash so same thing here i mean you're charging the guy with first degree murder without a body so either he talked or they have enough probable cause to at least get an arrest <sighs> yes court sometime today too and uh, i think i'm going to go check out finishing up this coffee and then I'm going to go to the law firm where Stephen worked. Yeah, a drone would be nice. A drone would actually be nice. All right, guys. Well, I'm signing off. I'm going to go to the law firm, so I'll be back in a bit. We'll talk soon. Subscribe to my channel. Like, hit the notification button. Share, share, share this video, and uh, we'll talk soon. I'll go over the law firm where Stephen went missing and see if I can get some more information, see if I can talk to someone. Um, if you have any information, um, you know, please email me. Go to my website, Jonathan Lee Riches Investigates com. Leave a tip. Leave your information. We'll talk. Thanks for the support, everyone. Love you all. When I get, I'll try to get to the bottom of this. Try to get more information as it comes. Be safe.